Welcome back to the finale of What If Palpatine had Limited Power. Thank you to all of you who watched either the first two parts of this video. To recap what happened in those episodes in the event you haven't seen them, Palpatine's limited power put a temporary stop to Anakin's path to the dark side. The result was the survival of Master Windu and the delay of Order 66, allowing for the Jedi to find a way to destroy Palpatine and save Anakin. Obi-Wan's initial attempt is unsuccessful, but with reinforcements from other worlds, the Jedi line up for another battle against the Sith. Standing on top of adjacent bridges, were Jedi Masters Plo Koon and Mace Windu, using all of their strategic skills to try and pierce the Imperial defences. But as they were getting to grips with the overwhelming firepower of their opposition, the Jedi all sensed something that they had not felt in the Force before, and several thunderbolts of lightning ascend from the surface of Coruscant, to engulf the Republic ships, and the Jedi started to suspend in stasis. The light side users tried to desperately cling onto any secure surface, and in one of the destroyers, the force of the attack had caused Obi-Wan to awaken from his slumber. Trying to reach out to any of the other Jedi, Palpatine's attack had jammed all of the communications, but R2-D2 made its way into the battle and sidled next to the Jedi Master. Obi-Wan asked for Anakin's droid to go to one of the escape pods and find Anakin, as it was clear that the Jedi Knight would now be somewhere near Palpatine. The reliable astromech flew down past the dormant ships, but the pod's presence was spotted by Palpatine's guards, who opened fire and sent R2-D2 towards the ground. Rather conveniently for the droid, the escape pod landed right in front of the Jedi Temple, and hearing the sound of lightsabers swinging inside, followed the noises to the Jedi archives. There the droid saw Palpatine and a reluctant Anakin carving through any of the knights and padawans that had the misfortune of remaining at the temple against the orders of Master Windu. Searching for the communications line to any of the clone commanders, he attempted to execute Order 66, but all of the clone troopers failed to respond to his instructions, and running back outside, he restarted his attack on the Republic fleet. As Anakin lagged behind his master, R2-D2 intentionally bumped into his legs, and the eyes of the apprentice softened at the sight of his old friend. The droid showed a holographic recording of Padme giving birth to Luke and Leia, and a subsequent search for the Jedi Knight, causing Anakin to fold onto the floor in shame at what he had done. R2-D2 reminded him that there was still time to save the Jedi, and Anakin got to his feet, then proudly ignited his lightsaber. Surging towards Palpatine, the Sith Lord is forced to stop his attack at the sudden betrayal of his apprentice, and the Jedi above them are able to resume their battle. During their time in immobility, the Jedi had been bombarded by the fleet of the Empire, and now they were forced to resort to using their starfighters, until the fleet of Grandmaster Yoda and Luminara and Julie arrived in time to repel the Imperial fleet. The Empire struggled to keep track of the sporadic movements of all of the Jedi, a strategy that Anakin had frequently used, and slowly the Jedi began to take over. As the last ship exploded, the Jedi had no time to celebrate their victory, with R2-D2 reporting of the continuing duel between Anakin and Palpatine, and they all dived down for one final encounter. The unstable Anakin was beginning to falter, struggling to balance his conflict, but Grandmaster Yoda stepped in the middle of their duel and deflected Palpatine's lightning attack with his hands. The Sith Lord watched as the Jedi began to creep towards him, and he knew the game was up as he pushed his way back on top of an abandoned speeder. Before he could declare that the Sith's legacy would continue for years after his death, Anakin utilised a force-enhanced leap and impaled his master to complete the Fall of Darkness. The Jedi immediately felt the absence of this darkness in the Galactic City, but Anakin was focused on searching for Padme, so leapt into his starfighter and headed for the city's medical centre. Bail Organa escorted the Jedi Knight into the medical bay, where Padme was waiting with Luke and Leia, whilst the Senator himself travelled to the Senate building to sort out the death of Palpatine. Being declared the temporary Supreme Chancellor, the Senator Vorderon deployed the clones to look for the hidden members of the Separatist Council, and after being rounded up on Mustafar, they are found guilty of their contributions to the corruption in the Galactic Republic. Meanwhile, the Jedi Order is restored, but drastic changes are made to avoid the mistakes that have been made during the era of Palpatine. Anakin is placed at the helm of the Order, with Yoda and Windu deciding to re-evaluate their position as Jedi, after their blindness to Palpatine, ensuring that the power of the Sith will not rise again. That is it for what if Palpatine had limited power. If you enjoyed this what if, please like this video, turn on that notification bell, 
Click that subscribe button on this channel, as well as on my other channel, What If Films. And as always, leave a comment on what if you'd all like to see next, and how I can improve my videos. Thank you all very much for watching, and see you next time.